Still checking in the place, still cold Moving in the way, no place, no snow Straight chilling with my niggas that shiver Thinking about Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Phobia, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 11 on your iPhone or iPad. This works up to iOS 11.1.2. It does not work on iOS 11.2 or anything thereafter. So to get right into it, what you're going to need is City Impactor. I will leave the link to everything that you need in the description. This is going to be the Mac tutorial, by the way. I will have another video coming out, which is the PC tutorial. So if you're waiting for the PC one, stick around for that, and I'll upload that pretty soon. Uh, maybe a few days after this one. So you're going to need City Impactor. Uh, the process is also very simple, uh, very similar on Windows. So if you want to just try to follow along with this one, go for it. Uh, or check and see if I've uploaded the video already would be because I might have. So City Impactor, the Electra Beta 4-2.IPA, uh, that's the app file that we're going to be installing to our device, which is the jailbreak. Uh, by the way, as you can see, my phone is already jailbroken over here. Uh, this is my iPhone 10 running iOS 11.2 or 11.1.2. .1 um, so yeah, so there's that app file. And you're also going to need a tweak. I will leave a link to this right here in the description. This is uh, the compatible tweak list for iOS 11. This is also where you can download the DEB files that you will need to install. Uh, to, f to get one, just go ahead and click on it and it will download the DEB file. Uh, like I said, for this tutorial, we're going to be using blurry badges. I already have this file ins or this tweak installed, so I will go ahead and show you how to remove tweaks as well. Because I already have that one installed. So pretty much what you're going to want to do to start is go ahead and open up City Impactor and go ahead and just drag it wherever. You're going to take the Electra Beta IPA and just hover over City Impactor and just drop it on it. So drag and drop on top of it. It's going to ask you for your iTunes email and login or your Apple ID. Go ahead and put in your email and password. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. As you can see there on the bottom row, I have Electra installed. So I'm going to hit cancel on that and close that. That's all you're going to need to do in City Impactor. By the way, it will also, in this bottom right-hand corner, once you're done with that, once you enter in your email and password, it will have a status a status bar down here. Just go ahead and, once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of Impactor. So once you have that done, you're, go ahead, you're going to go ahead and take your tweak file and just go ahead and double-click on it with the Unarchiver. Once again, link in the description. Uh, that's not a stock Mac feature, and it will go ahead and bring up that. I'll delete the old version of that. Uh, so now that you have that on unrard or well, unarchived anyway, you'll go ahead and go into it, and now we're going to do the same thing for this. And now we're going to go into data, library, and just leave this here. So what you're going to want to do next is go onto your phone, open up the Electra Beta app. Uh, it will tell you that you have a unidentified... Um, unidentified profile or unidentified developer or something like that go into settings go to general go to profiles and just tap on whatever profile is there and hit trust and trust again and it will allow you to use the app go back and open up the the app okay not change pages open the app and hit jailbreak uh, mine's already jailbroken so it says jailbroken make sure tweaks is selected at the bottom and wait for it to jailbreak it will respring your device and then you will be jailbroken it will also install Anamone, which Anamone is a tweak app, or a, a theme app, excuse me, uh, which, as you can see, I already have Lotus theme installed. So you'll get those two, or that one too, uh, are jailbroken. So pretty much once you're done with that, what you're going to want to do is go back to your computer, and you're going to want to download a program called CyberDuck. Once again, I will leave the link in the description. So on your phone, you're going to want to go to settings, go to your Wi-Fi settings, and hit the I next to your Wi-Fi, and it will tell you the local IP address. It will be something to the tune of 192.168.blank. Mine is .1.81. So you're going to go ahead and go on CyberDuck, and once you're on CyberDuck, you're just going to click Open Connection. You're going to change this to SFTP. And for server, you're going to put that IP address that you just got from Wi-Fi settings, like I said, .81. Leave the port as 22. Go to username and type in root. And for your password, it already auto-filled mine. But it's for default, it's going to be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, Alpine. So that's the default root password. And you're just going to go ahead and hit connect. 
it'll bring you here you do not want to be in your root directory so you're going to click this here and click the slash or the root of your phone and you're going to go into bootstrap this is where we need to be so for first I'm going to show you how to uninstall tweaks in case you install something that you shouldn't have or messed up installing something you just go in there and you go to library go to bootstrap go to library and depending on so like as you can see uh, blurry blurry badges has uh, multiple folders you have mobile substrate dynamic libraries which is just going to be this SB inject folder and as you can see is backdrop badge so we're going to go ahead and find backdrop badge as you can see it's right there we'll select both of those and delete those once you deleted those you can go back and go to preference loader preferences because as you can see this one also contains a preference loader some tweaks will not contain all of these files so uh, don't be expecting it for every one of them delete that and then you can go ahead and go into preference bundles and go ahead and delete it there as well I already know it's backdrop badge but if you need a confirmation you can just go back back preference bundles and as you can see it's backdrop badge so once you have everything for the tweak deleted you're going to want to go ahead and respring so now how you do that on on here is you're going to go ahead and open up terminal on your Mac just spotlight and just type terminal and open it up I have it open over here and you're going to type ssh space root at just the at symbol and then your that IP address again that we talked about earlier so mine's 192.168.1.81 so you're going to go ahead and enter that same password which is alpine and now you're logged into your iPhone so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to type kill all space dash nine space springboard just like that and you're going to go ahead and hit enter and it's going to respring your device as you can see right there it's respringing my iPhone you're just going to wait for it now that it's resprung you're going to have that tweak gone as you can see the badges are now red again and yeah that's so that's how you go ahead and uh, uninstall tweaks so now I'm going to show you guys how to install tweaks which is obviously what I'm sure most of you are here for so what you're going to want to do is you can minimize your terminal now if you're uninstalling um, pretty much all you got to do to install it is do the reverse process that we did to uninstall them coincidentally so we're going to be reinstalling this blurry badges so like I said on it or just on archive the data go into data go to library so now you're going to see these three folders what you're going to want to do is go for the mobile substrate folder that's going to be into this SB inject folder which is in bootstrap library so once again you go to root go to bootstrap go to library go to SB inject once you're in SB inject you're just going to go into the mobile substrate go into dynamic libraries highlight both of those and drag them there it will upload them to your phone so I'll go ahead and put that down there so now you can see upload complete we'll go ahead and go into preference loader now once again go back go to preference loader preferences go ahead and drop that file in there it'll upload that go into bundles once again on your phone go back back and go into preference bundles drag and drop that in there and now you're done that's it so once again we're going to go into terminal and we're going to go ahead and hit uh, the same command kill all dash nine springboard as you can see I'll leave the command in the description so you can copy and paste it hit enter and it will go ahead and respring your device just wait for your device to respring and as you can see we now have our blurred badges again so uh, that's how you install tweaks on iOS 11 that's also how you jailbreak iOS 11 I will have a tutorial coming soon for Windows uh, for all you Windows people out there but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So you can go ahead and install any tweaks from this list using the method that I just showed you. Some of them are easier than others, like dark messages. I'll go ahead and do a quick demonstration. It downloads it. You just go ahead and extract that. Open up the folder. Extract. This one only has the mobile substrate folder. Oh, apparently I lied. Um, I thought that this one only had... Some of them only have the dynamic libraries folder. You don't have to worry about the other... You don't have to worry about these other folders right here. But yeah, so uh, now you can use that method that I just showed you to install any of these tweaks listed here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.